Hey everyone, Dustron Subcon23 here today with a review after a very long hiatus. Um, yeah, just finished up uh, my senior year of high school, so uh, I have all summer to work on reviews. So hopefully I'll dish out more in the, uh, the upcoming weeks um, for videos. But anyways, as you see here today, I'm going to be reviewing Beast Wars Fuser uh, Buzzsaw. And as you can see, um, what makes him a fuser is that he's part praying mantis and part uh, reptile. But he's just barely a fuser because uh, you could you could barely tell that he's made from a reptile. It's just the legs that there's any uh, reptile detail in. Uh, but other than that, it's it's all praying mantis. Um, but anyways, here we have his beast mode, which I really like. Um, it's really, really colorful. Um, I don't think the camera is actually doing it justice because it, it, the colors on here are like really neon. There's a lot of pink too, for whatever reason. But um, it's just, it's really nice, uh, and a lot of, a lot of transparent plastic is used in this as well. Like any Beast Wars figure, he has a, a lot of, a decent amount of articulation. Uh, his claws can go up and down. Uh, the gimmick here is that uh, when you press on this little uh, lever right here, uh, his uh, pincers move around, which is kind of cool. But you could also pose them if you don't like it in that sense too, and, and they'll work, but uh, not as well in certain poses. Um, really, really like the face sculpt on here. That's a really, really cool mantis head sculpt, and it's just, I, I really, really like the use of colors in this, in this mode. Um, it's actually, uh, my favorite of the modes. I'm gonna give the mode, uh, an 8.5, because it's really, really good. And, uh, I think it was also repainted for BotCon, uh, as by Rulent Clones and Dirge. So, this, this mold's been used. To start transforming him, uh, you're gonna begin with moving the abdomen down like like so then it's really ingenious how they uh, engineered the head uh, you start out by lifting it out right here and popping the head out then what you're gonna do is you're going to pull this section back and rotate it like so then you are going to push the head down and lock this part into place uh, then for the hands, you're going to rotate this piece upwards, or this way, actually. Then you're going to position the hands, and uh, then you're going to flip this section outwards and to reveal the hand, and the same on this side. And then the legs, it's uh, pretty straightforward. You flip it 180 degrees, separate, flip out the feet, and then just position everything how you'd like it to be positioned. And there you have Beast Wars Buzz Claw. Um, again, the robot mode's really nice. I really enjoyed the head sculpt in, in uh, this mode, if you can see it there. Uh, it's really transparent and shows up quite nicely in the light, uh, which I'll show in a minute. Um, the details, again, are really nice, and I really enjoy the colors. Um, as for the back portion, you can really position it however you want. Um, it is detachable. Um, so you could have them like this if you prefer, which it, it does look kind of better, to be honest. Um, I think there's a way for this to store as a weapon, but I can't find anywhere for it to peg in. I'm pretty sure it should go something like, like this on his arm, but it won't stay there. Again, it can still do, uh, its feature with the claws when it's separated. Uh, but again, really, really nice head. 
and if I could show that in the light. See there, the, the light shows up really nicely through his head because it's made out of transparent plas uh, plastic. I really also, I really enjoy the paint apps used on this figure. Um, it's like these really smooth gradients of uh, paint, which you don't often see on figures. Like for example, on the wings, it goes kind of from a, goes from kind of like a, a pink to an orange there, if you can see that. The same things done on his head, uh, in the middle of his face, you can kind of see pink and it spreads out to an orange. Uh, the same on the mantis head, uh, and on uh, the abdomen bit. But overall, he's a really, really nice Beast Wars figure. Never appeared in the show, but I believe he appeared in the comics. So, there may be incentive to get him that way, but... Uh, if you can find him for cheap amount of money, I would get him. He's just a really nice little figure. For this mode, I'll give a 7, just because it's it's really good. Um, doesn't do anything too spectacular, but uh, I really enjoy the Beast mode over this mode. But anyways, um, I should be getting out a few more videos in the future, uh, at least in the next two weeks, because I'm going to TFCon. Uh, I strongly urge you to say hello if you see me there. If you want to know what I look like... Uh, I refer you to my last video. I'm really looking forward to going to TFCon. There's going to be uh, Derek J. Wyatt, Dan Kana, Alex Milne, uh, David Kay, Mark Ryan, um, Matt Moylan. I can't remember his name, but um, he worked on Beast Machines. And also there's going to be people like Vangelis, so that should be really cool. Also, if you see someone pressuring the artists for a tank or sketch, um, that'll probably be me. Because if you haven't noticed, I'm a huge Tankor fan. Uh, he's my favorite Transformer. If you see someone doing that, it, most likely it's me. So come and say hi. Um, but I'm really looking forward to going, and uh, I should be bringing some videos back with me from TFCon. Uh, so that should be really interesting. So this is Just Drawn Decepticon signing out, and I'll see you guys later with another video.